So this podcast, we're going to discuss inserting rows into an SQLite database and also how to structure the, ta- the, uh, uh, the columns and table names of the SQLite database. So recall there's the CRUD model for interacting with the database. This is a way of classifying the different interactions of the database. There's the uh, create, read, update, and delete. So in the past, we've discussed creating how to create a data, SQLite database using a schema. And we discussed how to read from a database using select. And now we're going to really look at uh, uh, update and delete, how to add information to an SQLite database, how to add information to a table, and how to update some of the properties of the table, and then how to delete things. Okay, so we can start off by uh, adding a table into a database. Uh, So on the next slide, we'll show the code. So the code will essentially just create an SQLite database and define the column headings. So we're going to create a table called employee and the column heading is going to be first name and age. Uh, on the DLE, there's an example script create underscore example.py on the DLE. And on the next slide, we'll see what the code looks like. But essentially, we're just going to create a table called employee. And the columns are going to be first name and age. So here's the actual code. So as before, import SQLite 3. So we've seen an example of this before. We've created databases before. Here we have a connection, SQLite3.connect. Example.b is going to be the file name. So we're going to create a file in the same directory as the as this uh, Jupyter Notebook called example.db. We have the cursor. Here yeah, we have to connect the database. Here's the SQL command. We've seen before, create table employee. Employee is the table name. The row name is first name. And we're going to have that as uh, essentially a string, length 20 characters. And the second column name is going to be called age, and it's going to uh, be an integer. So this is actually the kind of pure SQL command. It's in a string. Uh, this treble quotes means it's a string that stretches over more than one line. We run cursor execute SQL, and then we print out table created successfully. And remember, then we have to also do this. Uh, Con commit, so this thing executes the command, and then to actually create the database, you have to run this command con commit, and then we do con close. So what this piece of code does, it creates a file called example.b, creates an empty table called employee with columns first name uh, of type string, and another column called age uh, of integer. Okay, so we've got a, an empty table. So now we're going to uh, add rows to the table. We see it using Python. Recall uh, in last week's lecture, in the previous lectures, we've shown how to create a, a table using pandas. You can just take a pandas data frame and dump it into an SQLite database. Here we're just going to look at just inserting rows. And the first example we're going to look at is called insert underscore example.py, which is available on the DLE. And then we're going to see a modification of it, insert example underscore a.py. And uh, that's a slightly modified example. OK, so for this to work, you have to have created the previous file, example.db. So it assumes that the, uh, the SQLite file exists. And it assumes it's in the same directory as where the Jupyter Notebooks is running. So we connect to the file, example.db. We do uh, cursor equals com.cursor. And so we connect to the database, that's what this is doing. And then here's the SQL, SQL command, insert into employee. Remember, employee is the table name. First name is the first column name, and age is the second column name. So here's the SQL syntax to insert into a table, values. Uh, and then first person name is Rama. So 27 and eight, so that's the first name and the age is 27. And then we add another row, we do the same thing. Uh, we execute the SQL command, insert into employee, employee is the table, 
and we have to tell it what columns to put in, first name, age, and we put in the values. Tom is the first name and their age is 20. And then the next line we do the same thing, so all these lines just copy, we just change the uh, the names and the ages, insert into employee, column is first name, second column is age, then the values, Jane 35, uh, and same for Roger's name, who's a person who's age 22. So these things, they all they do is they insert a row into the database, into the table employee. So we're adding four rows. Uh, and then we're doing this commit just to make sure the changes are done. And then we close the connection. And when we run the code, we just see uh, records inserted. Okay, so we can, we can check that the rows have been added in the table in the database. Uh, so one way of doing it, in the next slide we'll see uh, a var called check insert.py, I can just use Python. So, I mean, just to check that nothing's gone wrong, we have, just have to go into the database and check what we've added has is, is, is actually been added, that these rows have been created. And this is the way you demonstrate it, either using Python code or if you remember as well, there's a command line utility called uh, SQLite 3 that runs on Macs or Windows that you can actually look at an SQLite file and uh, interpret it and run simple SQL commands on it. So the idea is just to check that the insertions worked. We're going to just use this file. So here again, we have, so this is just, just checking that the actual table has been created correctly. And we've not done any fancy uh, reformatting. So as before, we're importing the SQLite 3, bringing in the module, connect to the file example.db, this will only work if example.db is created. We create a cursor, we execute the command, select star from employee, which means select all rows from the employee table, and then we execute it, then we have to fetch the back into result, and result is actually a string of tuples, and then we loop over what's in result and print out the uh, the rows. So here we've got Rama, age 27, Tom, age 20, Jane, 35, Roger, 22. So I mean, this is how you demonstrate that the actual uh, the actual row has been inserted. And if we go back, we can see here. That the, uh, that the command here when we uh, created this, when we inserted into employees, we inserted Roger uh, and age 22 is one of the rows. Uh, and then we can check it's actually working by printing out Rod. Here we can see that Roger and age 22 has actually been added to the database. Okay, so, so this example is just a slightly a variant on that. And, and what I've done here is, well, so in the previous example, the actual names and uh, ages were sort of hardwired into the script, uh, but it can be uh, useful to actually take them as variables. Here I've just called a variable name underscore John, age underscore 45. So I'm actually going to interpret from a variable. And if you think about uh, if you had a GUI interaction, your GUI would actually... Uh, uh, interact by well, the user would input something and it would go into a variable and then once it's in a variable you can insert it into an SQLite database so as usual we start off with syntax import SQLite 3 we connect to the file to the database in the file example.db and this should have been created by the previous example uh, then we uh, connect a cursor to it then we execute the SQL command so here we have insert into employee, first name, age, values. And instead of actually, in the previous examples, we'd actually have a string here and an age here. So remember first name and age are the column names. Employee is the table name. And here we're using the syntax like this, which will actually, so we can insert variables. Uh, so name underscore is John, and age underscore is uh, 45. Uh, so the these two question marks say that we need two variables need to be added and 
then the uh, the Kirst execute takes the, the numbers from name here and age. And actually, remember this construct is a uh, is a tuple, which which means uh, it's like a list, but it doesn't change. And it has two elements here, and there are two question marks. So if you did need to do input three values, you'd have three question marks, and then you'd have three variables inside this in this tuple inside this column here. Okay, so this just adds in John with age 45. That's the SQL command, insert into employee. Then we do con commit, then we have records insert, and then we close connection uh, by the close. So this is a good example if you wanted to actually insert just a row uh, into an employee table. And uh, this example is on the DLE. You can also play around the Jupyter Notebook. So it's also in uh, uh, so that example we just looked at. So insert underscore example underscore a dot py, uh, which will be on the DLE. Uh, okay, so we, we had an example there where we we inserted variables into a row. I mean, we saw last week, you know, so efficiently, there's a different way of doing it to actually put pandas data frames into SQL-like databases. And now we can actually insert a specific row. Okay, so remember, we're going with the CRUD model. Uh, so now we're going to uh, update some of the information. So so far we've we've uh, we've inputted new rows, but what happens if you want to update somebody's age, and the SQL commands to do that? So recall we're looking at a table called employee, and the employee table has two columns: first name, first underscore name, and age. And then the SQL commands to actually go into the into the tables and update various elements. So the command update employee set age equals thirty five sets the age of all the rows, all the people in the, in the employee database to 35. Here we have an SQL command to add one to each age. So here, here so the syntax is update employee, where employee is the table name, and then set age equals 35. You can also do things like update employee set age equals age plus one, which means you uh, uh, you add one to everybody's age in the table. Then the SQL command to know uh, here, update employee set age equals 40, where first name equals Tom. So what this SQL command does for the table employee, it sets the age to 40, but just for the people whose first score underscore name is Tom. Uh, and this example is, un is update uh, underscore example dot py. So I just have one example using Python, just using this command. So this just updates the row, the age of the person named Tom. It could be that you've uh, mistakenly added his age. You need to correct that. And there's a bit more examples here. Uh, so how do we do this by code? So I've written an example here. So as before, so we're looking at updating, updating Tom's age to 40. We have import SQL like three. We make the connection to example.db. This has to be in the same directory as the Jupyter notebook, example.db. We correct the cursor. We then do SQL update employee set age equals 40, where first underscore name equals Tom. So this is an SQL command, and it's just saying we're going to update the row where the first underscore name is Tom. We're going to set it to 40 for the employee table. So here's the SQL. We execute it. We write our table update. And then just to check it, uh, I rerun the code rerun select star from employee, which in selects all rows from the employer table. This is a wildcard character. And so this second bit is just to check uh, that it's all working OK. So we execute the SQL command, uh, and then we use this cursor.fetchall just to bring back the results. 
So it goes into a list of tuples and each element is a, contains the name and age. And you can see here that the Tom, the first name Tom, has uh, is age set to 40. So we've actually, uh, as, uh, that's what this SQL command does. It updates the age in the employee table when the first underscore name equals Tom. So this is how you change individual information uh, inside uh, the table. Okay, so there we had an example of updating the information. We can also delete rows. Uh, so this command here, delete from employee where first name equals Jane. So this actually will look at the employee table, find where the row name, where the column first underscore name equals Jane, and then it will just delete that row. So the SQL command deletes the first row, first name equal to Jane. And there's also a variant where you can do the SQL command blow delete from employee, which will essentially will delete all the rows from the table, so you end up with an empty table. Okay, so we're going to look at a, an example. And the example is deletes underscore example.py, which is on the uh, on the DLE. And this, uh, here's a reference to a bit more information. Uh, okay, so just okay, so the format is we bring in the SQLite three. Here's the code. We connect to the uh, file example.db. So what this line does, and then for the connection we create a cursor. So we have connection connects to the file. Then we create a cursor. And here's our uh, we want to remove the the row. The first underscore name is Jane, and this is the command we had on the other slide. This, so this is the SQL command, delete from employee, where first underscore name equals Jane. So there's the SQL. We execute the SQL command. This is a string, and then this code at the bottom, which is not actually it's not actually needed, just to demonstrate that the uh, uh, this just demonstrates that. The delete from employee where first underscore name equals chain is working. So this just dumps out this select star from employee. It stars a wildcard count and it just selects everything from the employee table, puts it in a list of tuples, and then we loop over the result for R and result and we print R and we get each row of the uh, of the database. Uh, and not each row of the uh, employee table. And you can see what we said here, delete employee where first name equals Jane, so we've lost the first name equals Jane. And if you look at the last printout, so before we ran this command there was Jane was in there because we inserted it, so this is before running the uh, delete, there was Rama, Tom, Jane, Roger and John. Now we've run this code to do the deletion, uh, we've lost the Jane's uh, age, that row's just been deleted. Okay, so, so I've just shown you some examples of how to alter the information in the tables, or how to uh, update the information in the tables. Now we're just going to look at uh, a couple of commands to actually alter the tables. So here's a command called alter table employee add column last name. And what this, what this command does is uh, what it says at the top there, it adds uh, an additional column to the table. So here we're actually altering the structure of the table. So here, alter table employee, and we're adding another column called last name. So we already, originally we just had first name uh, in the, we just had the first name and age as column headings. Now we've added a, uh, uh, a new column heading last name. And once we do that with the SQL, it will create a, a new column and then fill all the uh, this column with just sort of null values. Okay, so here we have a command uh, alter table employee rename to staff. So employee was the table name, 
and then this rename changes the name of the table from employee to staff. So this alter table is uh, uh, changes the the actual not what's in the table, but changes the sort of name of the table. And there we have alter table. So here we've renamed the employee table as the staff table. And we can also go in and uh, uh, this SQL command here will change the table. So alter table employee rename column age to staff age. So what this SQL command is, so we had a uh, the employee table and it had first underscore name and age. And now we've renamed one of the columns from age to staff age. Okay, and then this alter underscore example dot py. Uh, the one thing we so I've just shown you on this page how to add a column to a table, rename the table, and then rename an existing column. What we've not shown you how to do is how to get rid of the columns, and apparently this is a bit hard in, in SQL Lite. Uh, for some reason, there's some discussion about in these two links. So there is a way of, uh, so apparently the way they actually alter it, if you want to remove a column, the example that they give is they actually copy the table over, but they only copy over uh, the wanted columns. So in other SQL, in other uh, database management systems, such as MySQL, my understanding is there's a table which will allow you to drop a, uh, drop a column. Uh, in this case, uh, they don't like doing that. It was for some reason technically difficult. So you actually, if you do need to remove a column name, you actually have to do some, uh, you have to sort of create a new table and then just copy over the columns that you want. And there's some discussion in uh, in these uh, in these two links. Okay, so this is just an example. So here, remember, we're changing the structure of the table. So as before, we do import SQL Lite 3. We connect to it, SQL 3.connect. So the database is an example.db. It should be in the same directory uh, as this Jupyter Notebook. We connect with a cursor. Then we're going to add a new column. So the command for this is alter table employee. So employees the table. We're going to add the column last underscore name. And then we execute it. And then this command at the bottom just looks at what we're actually what we've actually done with the uh, command. And uh, so as before, we just had first name, last name. Now we have first name, age, uh, and last name. And because we just created the uh, we just created the column name, and we've not put anything in it, so that's why all the uh, the values there are none. So this command up here in Python, we've added a last name uh, column heading. And so it's altered the structure. So Python's altered the structure of the table. And then actually, because we didn't have any information there, it just puts everybody's last names equal to null or none. OK, so, so this has just been a, a brief tour of some of the commands. So we started off with the CRUD, so we're, we can insert data uh, into, a, uh, uh, into a row or column. We can alter the table name. We can add a column. Uh, uh, and we can, uh, well, yes, yeah, so we can rename a column rename the table name employee to staff and uh, add a column. And if you met, I mean, in some languages, some version of SQL, it's very easy to drop a column, get rid of it. It's not so easy in SQL Lite. Okay, so, so this is just an example of uh, adding data and changing the structure of the table. Okay, that's all I wanted to say.